Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Fallout 4 video, I'm going to be showing you guys another set of legendary power armor. That's right, today's kind of a two-for-one special. I'm showing you guys two pieces of legendary power armor that you can get in Fallout 4, and they're pretty awesome. All right, now there is two prerequisites for this. One of them is that you must be sided with the Brotherhood of Steel and have the Pridwin unlocked, which is their giant dirigible blimp. And you also must have completed the main story with the Brotherhood of Steel, giving you the title of Sentinel. That is the only way to obtain these two pieces of legendary power armor. So if you've done both of those things, what you need to do is actually head to the Pridwin so you can fast travel there. And then you want to enter the Pridwin's main deck area. It's basically where like all the people live and where those suits of power arm and where those workbenches are. And from there, you're going to need to make your way all the way down to the end of the hallway to the guy in the shop. His name is Proctor Tegan. Uh, and after you beat the game as the Brotherhood of Steel and once you get the title of Sentinel, He'll have some special dialogue for you. He'll kind of go through like a minute or two of him actually talking to you. He's really proud of what you've done. And because of that, he's added some special items that he set aside just for you for his shop. And those special items are legendary pieces of power armor. And that's what we're going to be looking at today. So go over to apparel, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you should see two legendary pieces of power armor. They're the left and the right legs. One of them is honor. Honor is pretty cool. You can see its perk increases action point refresh speed with a damage resistance of 192, energy resistance of 147, and radiation of 150 with an overall health of 155, weight of 18, and my value was 2184. It might be a little bit lower for you. It might be a little bit higher depending on your charisma, and you can see some of the mods on there. It is already model D, which is a pretty well advanced piece of power armor, so that is honor, and also the other one, which is vengeance, which reflects 10% of melee damage back on the attacker with a damage resistance of 192 energy 147 and radiation of 150 with a health of 155 and you can see this one also has a value of 2184 it's pretty much the exact same piece of power armor just with a different perk so they are fairly expensive you can see that took up a, a good amount of my caps but if power armor is your thing and you want to create like an all legendary suit these would definitely be the two leg pieces that you would want as they do offer some pretty nice perks uh, to go along with the already pretty good armor damage resistance that it has because it already is a Model D. All right, so here you can see some of the mods that have already been placed onto the legendary pieces of power armor. Now, because my armor perk isn't leveled up a ton, I really can't do anything extra to these pieces of power armor. So it's actually great that I found them because they are pretty nice uh, standard when you buy them from Proctor Tegan. And of course, there isn't anything different visually from the power armor. Uh, it's going to look the same as a normal set of T60 legs would, but it still looks really, really cool. So that is Honor. That is Vengeance. Those are two legendary pieces of power armor that you can get. I know the downside is that you have to be with the Brotherhood of Steel. But power armor is kind of the Brotherhood of Steel's thing. So if you want to build out a pretty awesome suit of power armor, you might want to side with the guys that kind of specialize in that. So I thought I would share this with you guys in this video. You guys really seem to like my previous videos where I covered legendary suits and pieces of power armor. We've already been over the piezonucleic uh, chess piece. We've done Tessa's fist. And now, once again, you can get these two legendary leg pieces, Honor and Vengeance. Once again, just go to Proctor Tegan after you beat the game with the Brotherhood of Steel, and he will have these items ready for you. Let me know if this guide was helpful for you in the comment section down below. If you did go on to enjoy the video, a like rating would be awesome. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Fallout 4 videos like this. Without the way, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.